Hey everybody, this is Dan from Mechanical Malarkey. Today I want to tell you about a car I recently diagnosed that would not turn off all the way, only go into accessory mode. This was specifically a 10th generation Honda Accord, but it could happen with other cars too. So if the customer said that the car wouldn't turn off all the way, only go into accessory mode, and it would tell you to put it in park, even though it already was in park. And I verified that it was physically in park, and the indicator on the dash was saying it was in park, but then when you tried to turn it off, it would say, put it into park. I was confused because it knew that it was in park, but I also didn't think it was in park. Turns out there are two separate switches that tell it what gear it's in, or whether it's in park. The one on the transmission is controlling the one on the gauge cluster, but then there's also a switch on the shifter itself that allows the car to turn off. While I was checking things over, I realized that once I had moved the shifter into the reverse position, I could then move it between different positions without ever having to push the button on it like I'm supposed to. I could move it from neutral into reverse without pushing it, or from drive into a lower gear without pushing the button, which usually you have to push it to make sure you're not doing it at the wrong time by accident. So I took off the trim on the console to see the actual shifter mechanism itself, and I found that the pin that the button on the shifter controls was not fully returning back up when the button was released. That meant that I could shift it between those different gears that I shouldn't be able to with the button released, and when it was returned to park, it wasn't popping all the way up to hit the park switch. And because it wasn't hitting the park switch, it wasn't letting the car turn off because it didn't think it was actually in park. There was no service information for disassembling the actual shifter to lubricate or replace anything in there, so I just warrantied a whole new shifter mechanism for this car. More recently, another tech in the shop had a Honda Fit that had the exact same complaint about not being able to turn off all the way, and I noticed when I was looking at it with him that you could move the shifter without pressing the button, and so I told him that you should probably take off the trim and see if the same thing is happening with this shifter. But it actually wasn't that problem because when he took off the customer's purple fuzzy shift lever cover, it released the button on the shifter and let it work properly. So the customer's accessory was actually holding the button on the shifter down and not letting it release properly. So in that case, there wasn't an actual physical problem besides what the customer did. So if you have a car that is physically in park but is not turning off, take a look at the shifter like I did with this car. Also, if there is any accessory like a shift lever cover, take that off too. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and read the blog at mechanicalmalarkey.com. Thanks for watching.